All right, we back. Appreciate the patience, everybody. Not really sure what's going on with Instagram. It's not letting me add Sexy Red, but I'm going to go ahead and try it again. She's going to pull up for this week's episode of The Break Live. Um, and yeah, we're going to talk about her story. So one second, let me see if anything changed. What's good? I see you in here. All right, let's get Question. Oh, there it is. Yo, yo. Hey. What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, my name is Kemet Off Rip. Thank you for taking the time. I don't know what the hell was going on with Instagram in the beginning. Good. It wasn't letting me add you and stuff, but I'm glad you're in the mix now. I ain't gonna take too much of your time. Yeah. What's up? What's good? What you got going on today? Man, um, what I gotta do today? I gotta go to the studio later. Okay. And then, oh, I don't know. I ain't doing nothing today for real. What you got going on? Yeah, that's good news. It's just this work, maybe a little basketball later. You know, it's playoff season, so all the men are all on that. <laughs> Y'all probably tired of it. Yeah. Um, but but for sure, we can go ahead and get into your story a little bit. Um. You've been all of oh y'all y'all see the the light flex popping out with the wide uh, cat. Still stagnant. Still yeah. Respect. Still get together. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You know. Uh, <laughs> pop your shit. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was gonna actually gonna be my first question to you. Like you've been blowing up, you know, just getting bigger and bigger. Obviously, you get into it, get into the money, get into the movement. Um, you've been all over for weeks now, yeah. maybe even months. Like, how does it all feel? It's like, like it's tiring, but this is what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can You know, so. for real, because I be hella tired, but then my team be like, but this, ain't this what you asked for? Ain't this what you been wanting? So it's like, yeah. gotta do this. I be up. I be up. Like, I ain't getting in the house uh, till late last night. Sheesh. What's it's a day to day like for you. Is it a lot of recording, a lot of appearances? Like, yes, yeah. Okay, so like my day to day is either I'm going to the studio and recording, and then that weekend I'm doing appearances. Okay, okay, for sure. We'll let that stay right there. You talk about recording. I definitely got to ask you about some new music toward the end of this. Um, but off rip, I want to start from like the top of it all, um, the place you call home, St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. How has being from there shaped your character? Like, what's it? What's it like? I have no familiarity at all it's with the city. Pretty, pretty yeah, go it goes down in the Midwest. Okay. Okay. But now, I don't know. My upbringing, I'm from the North Side. I'm a product of my environment. Like, I'm a, I'm a show out. Every test I get, I'm a show out because we ain't used to it. <laughs> <laughs> For this shit. Yeah. Gotta respect that. For yeah. sure. Um, what are some of your favorite memories from your childhood? Like, what type of time were you on? What kind of things were you into? I just remember, like, like my favorite memories is me being on the north side, just being outside playing. But, like, I get out of school, and I know it's going to be all kids outside, like, getting out of day, day schools and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just miss being a kid again, like, just playing around, like, being carefree. Yeah. Who are you telling? I was just talking to an artist, and we were talking about how, like, kids it's a level of innocence you know even when you know things are wrong you don't understand why deep it is like it's just stress free days for real adulthood this shit is not easy like life is life is complex and i remember when i was young i used to want to be grown so bad i used to right. couldn't wait to <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna pay my own bill but now i hate paying rent i hate it i hate paying rent. just yeah. to know i can money like no i want it it's always something to take care of. I feel like it never stops. But that's part of the game. You know how that goes. Yeah. Um, what was your introduction to, to hip hop? Obviously, St. Louis, we know diamond selling artists like Nelly, Chingy, up to Smino. What was your introduction to, to hip hop? Um, you saying like how I start rapping? Well, how you, I want to know first, like what you were listening to, you know, like what introduced you to the genre, which artists, which songs, and then we'll get into how you started creating. Well, I like Memphis rappers. Like Fire. I like, I listen to like Project Pat, Juicy J. I, like I like Boosie. I like Webby music. Legend. I just be listening to all, all the do all the old head rappers. I like I like the young rappers too though. Yeah. yeah I'm like more of an old song. For sure. Nah, same. I can relate to that. Um, real quick on a young note, who you been rocking with? Like, who are some artists that you 
you keep on the Oscar these days? What's that mean? Like young artists, you said you listen to older artists and younger artists. Who are some like modern day artists that you listen to? Who's some modern day? They y'all probably wouldn't know them, but I be listening to low key people. Okay. Like, okay. I don't know. I be but I like all the new artists. Like if they got a little poppy little song. It's hard. I sit there and listen to it, but I ain't gonna go all through your music. But I sit there and like play that one song out of. Song. Yeah, I, yeah, I, no, I absolutely. <laughs> You said, well, I didn't hear you. I said, and I just fuck with them off of that little one song that I heard, and I just like, oh, okay, I like them. I fuck with them. Yeah, that's how it is. It's cool to, like, get introduced to artists and then to grow with them as well. I'm sure a lot of people have a similar, similar type of outlook when it comes to you, yourself. Um, so what made you start rapping in the first place? Like, where where did that inspiration come where you said, all right, I'm going to hop on the mic and try okay. my hand at this? Before I started rapping, I used to be just doing all shit like, Everybody used to be saying, you should be a rapper. You already act like a rapper because I used to be dressing cute. You know, I had all the money and stuff. So when I used to be in high school, everybody was saying, be a rapper. And I'm like, why? They like, you got the look. But scratch that, my boyfriend cheated on me. So I wrote mm. a diss song about it. And I put him <laughs> with. I dissed him in the song. Then I showed my baby daddy, my boyfriend. He my baby daddy now, but I showed my boyfriend the song. And he was like, Damn, you snapped that thing. I was going out. <laughs> I'm talking shit about him and the bitch in the song. He's like, so then I was in the car with him, and all we used to be going around all his friends and stuff. And every time I go around him, he be like, show them your rap, babe. Show them your rap. Show them your uh, what you you know, show them your little shit. And they was supposed with it. They like, oh, you hard for real. So then that's when I just went to the studio and recorded another song. Then it went from there. Jeez, first of all, that's funny as yeah. hell that you made a diss track about oh, it and he was co-signing it. Like, I didn't expect to be no rapper. I just was like, ass shit. I'm like, I'm gonna diss that lame ass. I'm gonna diss that ass. And then yeah. I was talking. Hard. Right. And my mom made it into a song, then they, everybody was fucking with it. Was that the first track you ever released or was it something I, else? I didn't even release the song. It was just me freestyling. And then every time I uh, wanted to talk to somebody, I would say, yeah, listen to my rap. Y'all think I'm tight. Some people was hearing it and they wasn't believing in it. They was just like, but now they all on my bump and shit. Yeah, yeah. That seemed like the whole world at this point. You but been you everywhere. Heard, first, when I say motherfuckers used to be sharing my shit, oh, she ugly, she dirty, ain't nothing sexy about this. Like, they used to be saying all oh, shit. But now, they on my bump because they see everybody else fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I you know how that go. That's the weak part about it. Sometimes it take everybody else latching on for people to really respect it. Yeah, it's cool though. Word. Yeah. What's the first track you ever recorded and like actually put out? The first track I ever recorded is called Slide. It's a duck remix. Yeah, hard. The Slide remix. For sure. And that's the song that everybody was like, "Yeah, send me this," because I ain't drop. I ain't never even drop it. Once my my boyfriend and his friends was like, "Yeah, you know how to rap. Go ahead and do a real song." I made a song for me and my bitches to just, just jam to in the car. Mm -hmm. And we used to be doing this stuff and posting videos, twerk videos. And they start sending it all around. And that's when they start calling me like, you want to come perform for $100? Come perform your song. I'm like, damn right. I was broke too then. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so I used to try to take a hundred dollars for shows, fifty dollars for shows, all kinds of stuff. Jeez, right. gotta do what you gotta do, but that was your name getting out there. Huh? I said you gotta do what you gotta do, but that was your name getting out there, setting the tone for it to expand like it yeah. is today. Yeah, that was my way. Of, yeah, but I wasn't even thinking about it like that because back then, cash you smoke. Uh. Put it up. I can. How you know I can? I can't smoke on here. You do whatever you want. This ain't. This ain't that. You free. Who said I couldn't smoke? Word word. Um. So what? All right. So after you put that out, or you had slide in the mix, people rocking with you, standing around. Um. What are some tracks that first started to get you some traction, like around the city and beyond? Like I know a thousand jugs was yep. one of the ones that kind of went up for you. And I recorded slide and a thousand jugs in the same night. Okay. But yeah, okay. song, right. I just was dropping my shit. Everybody was just like, "Oh, you different. I fuck with you." Like some people was laughing, but some people was like, "Oh, she really she talking some shit. Y'all just don't understand because they ain't come from where we came from, so they're not gonna they're not gonna understand what I'm talking about." Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
No, nah, absolutely. I feel like I peeped that. We're going to get into to this in a second, but I feel like I peeped that on your first project too, like Ghetto Superstar. You listening through, and it's like, obviously, you got the sonic part of it down pat, like the music sound good. It got a bounce to it. You got your cadence, but you really popping some raw shit, like yeah. putting it together down, in a fire way. They don't know that I really know what I'm talking about. They just not hearing it. They just, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. They'll see later, though. They'll see. Straight up. Straight like that. Um, the name Sexy Red, when did you start using that? Did you have that like your whole life and you kind of started to lean into it when you started rapping or is that something you adopted as you, you picked up your career? At first, <laughs> at first my name was Trill Red. Then when once I um, <coughs> was finna start rapping and I wanted to drop my uh, video that I had shot, I'm like, okay, what I'm finna put my name as, my rap name? So then I was, me and my friend, we was just, it's a dude, we was just coming, going through names. Mm -hmm. He like, this red, that red. He's like, what about dirty red? Like, uh, I, I was going to go with dirty red, because I like, but he was like, sexy red, and then I'm like, I like that name, because everybody always say I'm so sexy. Probably we should. Like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all see. Y'all be hating on me. Pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, for sure. I love it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take this time. Let's get into the project a little bit. Um, that was your debut project, right? Get a superstar. Cool. Um, what did you want the takeaway to be from that? Like, what kind of statement did you want to make with that effort? Get a super, get a superstar. Mm. I want to show them that no matter where you come from, like anybody can literally do this shit. You just gotta like be consistent and be yourself. That's all I was just, that's why I caught it. Like, I'm straight from the ghetto and I'm a, I'm a superstar. Like, you know, it's easy. It ain't easy, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. I just kind of showed them where I come from. That's why I was talking. Like, just, I don't know. I can't, I can't really explain. I can't. No, nah, I'm with you. I'm with you. You did a great job of pulling people in. It was cool for me to like kind of hear the music that you released over the last few years and then to go back in your catalog and peep what it was. Like, I feel like the ascension, you you had it off rip to me. I don't know if you felt like that at all, but <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, she grew into this artist. It was like, nah, she had this formula down packed prior. So, what are you trying to ask her if she's smart? Right oh, excuse me. Excuse me, tell her. No, tell her. Excuse me. Yeah, my, I was trying to quiet my, my baby. Nah, you good. You good. I'm rocking with you. Um, So obviously, Pound Town been blowing up over the last year. So what was it? What were you doing in between like Ghetto Superstar and Pound Town? Like how was you working on your craft? Um, how was you spending your time? Between Ghetto Superstar and Pound Town, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. This let me, let me tell you the story behind this. Talk so, to me. Ghetto, Ghetto Superstar, whatever. And then after I dropped that, that's when I had first signed with my team, my independent label will. After I dropped Ghetto Superstar, I don't know. Some I don't know, I got kind of depressed. I just mm. fell off the face of the earth. Like I wasn't posting a lot on Instagram. My team used to be like, "What's going on with you?" Like I wasn't talking to them. I it took like it was months. It was like months at a time. I was just going through some shit, and then I, I'm like, "Y'all, okay, I promise y'all, I'm gonna make y'all proud." Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get in the studio. I'm gonna get back in the studio. So then that's when I had came back to the studio after it been months, months, months. And then that's when I had made Pound Town, and I had made all other shit. And then Pound Town was like my first time dropping after a while because I wouldn't really drop it. And if I did drop, it'd be some shit they already had in the vault. Like I wouldn't work it. I just gotcha. on my ass on some depressed ass shit. Yeah. But, yeah. I'd be like that. I dropped Pound Town. Shit. I guess they was supposed to my comeback. Yeah. They yeah. <laughs> Skyrocket. I knew it yeah. was. When I was in the studio making it, I was laughing and having fun. After I, gonna ask, okay. I, I said, they gonna like this song. It's funny. I said, it's funny. They gonna like it. Super, super, super viral, um, super valid. Take Keith on the production. How did you even secure a beat from him? We already know what it is when he hops on yeah, the board. Everybody know. You, you gotta be, I'm gonna kill this fly. Stay fine by me. You gotta really be sort of fly. Oh, I said sort of fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Fly. You gotta be certified to get a beat from him or something because he is not just letting anybody rap on his shit. Exactly. But, like, uh, he had followed me. This when I was like going through my little depressed stage. I was like, no. 
So I was writing him. I'm like, send me some beats. He never wanted to send me no beats. I had to literally keep writing him, begging him. Like, then I finally said, I'm not gonna ask him for no more no beats. Like, fuck it. My team was like. My team was like, <laughs> my team was like, uh, be quiet. Wait, I, I forgot what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you was talking about uh, getting the take key beat. You were sending him beats. You was, yeah. And like, just, um, they like text him, get the beat, get the beat. I'm like, man, I'm not finna kiss his ass. I'm not finna ask him for no more beats. So then they like, just do it one more time. So I finally sucked it up with my process. So I'm like, Man, send me some beats. You be faking. You be playing. Like, send a real bitch some beats. I'm going to snap on your shit. Like, stop playing. We going to go up. Then that's when I'm like, stop playing. He finally sent me that shit. Then I sent him the song. He like, oh, yeah, this is hard. But my team, I ain't going to lie, they didn't even like the song. Because they thought I was on some playing shit. They like, uh, uh, his beats, people, when they rap on his beats, they be serious and stuff. So he like, nah, I don't think. They like, send him the song first to make sure he approve of it. They was like. I don't think he gonna like this, but take keep like he fucking with it. So once I said take keep fucking with it, that's when they like they still wasn't really fucking with it until they saw the reactions that people was having, like when I dropped snippets and stuff. They like, oh, okay, so they don't think it's done. Like I don't know. Yeah. After a while, because everybody at first was like the song was stupid, but then I kept listening to it and I like it. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I saw it come out too. Um, I feel like when you first dropped the clip on Twitter. And then it kind of found like a second life as well. It was like months later, it was going viral all over again. Exactly. Um, obvi yeah, a lot of people from. <laughs> the first part was already. First part that I thought was going to go viral was the little dance. That's the TikTok dance I was trying to get through. Like, like I'm trying to get my coochie scratch. I'm yeah. trying to get my coochie scratch. <laughs> <laughs> and I, yeah. that, that was what was supposed to go viral. But then, once I did the uh, beauty supply scene with Wiki and shot a whole nother pound town. He posted the snippet and he posted the first part when I was like, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown. And that's when everybody was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that's when, that, that's when I'm like, also, I should have posted the first part. They like the first part of the song. Yeah. Talker, like, I, I didn't think none of that. So I'm just like, it was normal to me. Nah, for sure. So oh, this is everybody's favorite lyrics. Then you go listen to the actual track. You realize what it's hitting for all together. Yeah, I'm a lot of, a lot of celebrities, a lot of fans, so like every time I get on Twitter and Instagram, it's some type of reference to those lyrics. Like Cardi B was just quoting it last week when some of her pictures had came out. So are there any celebrities that kind of like surprised you who co-signed it or was quoting it? Yes, some, some of them. Like, um, I don't know. A lot of stuff was surprising me because I didn't think people was going to like really like the song. I mean, I knew they were going to like it, but to see the celebrities fucking with it and shit, I don't know. It just made, it just... I feel like I'm in the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've been with spoken my shit. I've been who I was dead, but now I'm like, damn, my all, all of them. So I feel like now I'm really, because people been was like, you a celebrity, you a celebrity. And I'm like, I'm not no celebrity, but now I feel like, okay, you know, I'm in the door. Yeah. No, nah, absolutely. And that's what it seemed like from the outside looking in, the whole industry kind of supporting, jumping in to lift you up. Mm -hmm. um, another track that kind of did that, Born by the River, uh, was Suki Hana. My first question on that note, let's talk about the video real quick. Who was that man in the rolly chair? And how did y'all land on putting him in the video? That was probably one of the best days of his life. Yeah, that's so, yeah. It was like, you just really made that man day. I nice. like making that day. That's what I like doing. I don't know that man. I just seen him. I'm like, I want him to be in the video. You gonna, I'm like, I'm going to turn him up. I'm going to turn him up. But first, he was rolling the pass. He was just in his little wheelchair rolling the pass. And my cameraman was getting the rolling the pass all slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm hollering. So then he like, oh, y'all shooting a video? He turned around, he's like, y'all shooting a video? We like, yeah. We like, what's your name? He, I'm Pimpin' Peanut. I'm Pimpin' Peanut. So we just like, okay, come come be in the video. Yeah. I'm like, you ain't got no girlfriend. I ain't gonna get you in trouble with mom. <laughs> Word. Nah, he look like he was having a blast. He was. Rightfully so. Like, you ain't gonna get me in trouble. I know he don't got a girlfriend. I'm just messing with him. Like, trying to, you know, make his little day. I'm like, I ain't gonna get you in trouble with your wife now. Yeah, nah. <laughs> They had to have been made for sure. Yeah. Um, how you end up linking up with Suki Hana for that? Um, how man Suki link? Man, Suki Ben was supposed to link, but I finally came to Miami because I used to be in St. Louis, so I could never really travel. Mm -hmm. 
So then I guess, you know, I, I was in Miami. I'm like, bitch, I'm out here now, you know, like I be out here working and stuff. I'm like, come to the studio. And she wanted to do a song and shit. So we did our song. And then it went from there. Yeah. It was fun. And Suki first met each other. It's like we been to each other. We clicked. Soon as we met. Her boyfriend was like, Y'all, uh, y'all know each other? I said, me and her was like, uh uh, this is our first time meeting. He was like, Oh, I thought y'all was friends. I'm thinking y'all real friends or something. Like we was talking normal, like straight. Mm -hmm. She just, I don't know. Yeah. I get vibe. For sure. No. I believe it. You can kind of tell that from the chemistry on the record. It seemed like y'all y'all relate to each other in a sense. Yeah. Um, on a note of Sense, you ended 2022 with Sense That God Gave You with Summer Walker. Can you break down that connection for us? Where did it start? What does that relationship mean to you? Some of my bitch, too. Sure but enough. the thing about where's it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you hit these bitch. Hold on. Bird, you're you going to get it. Don't worry. It'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Summer, when me and her first met, we was like both shy and nervous. Like, really? she's shy, I'm shy. So like, we first met, we was just like, I was all quiet around her. She was quiet too, we just was like, not really talking. But it was other people around us that would make, you know, the vibes cool. cool. And that's because she had invited me to her slumber party. That's the first time I ever met her. She had invited me to her slumber party because I guess they was fucking with me and shit, you know? Wow. So she invited me to her party. With her and her friends. And then I straight start clicking with her friends too. Like they became my friends. I be talking to them and shit. Like. Yeah. That's when we was at the summer party and we got more cool, you know, as the summer party getting on and all as the days going. I'm like, bitch, let's do a song. Cause we was listening to my music, jamming to it and shit. I'm like, let's do a song. So she's like, nah, I don't want to make fun of your crap. I don't want to be on your song playing with you. And stuff. Like, it's just, let's just have fun with this shit. I don't care. I'm going I'm to have fun. So she was like, I don't know. So a year later, then look, her boyfriend, you do a song. Right now, I used to be writing on Facebook. So then he like, all right, I'm so then a couple months after that, she like, um, what's up? She had Rob like, what's your number? I'm like, her. So she had same. I knew it was gonna be some shit. Because we always on Instagram laughing at each other's shit or you know comment on each other's shit but when she said what's your number I'm like yeah why this why this bitch just ask me for my number she on something yeah, yeah, real. On. yeah so she sent that number and this when I was coming out of my depressed stage this when I was telling my team like okay I'm gonna get back in the studio I'm gonna start working I'm gonna leave and just work mm -hmm. and then I'm like some you know I'm gonna get a little blessing and then that's when summer came around and she sent that song and then I popped back out from there too because I did that before Pound Town. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was dope to hear, like, Summer rapping in, too. I feel like she would be a fire rapper if she ever wanted to oh, transition. Oh, but I'm a yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's her. I feel like she's the singing version of me. When I listen to her singing, mm. I'm, when I listen to Summer singing, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hate flies. I'm ready to kill this bitch right yeah, now. Yeah, they be but, annoying. Songs and stuff. I'll be like, oh yeah, she sounds just like me. Like we be, she sing like how I feel, but I rap it and talk shit. Yeah, hard, nah, that's wavy. She be fake freestyling in front of me. I'll be like, Summer, you know how to fucking rap, bitch. Can I'll be like, can I steal that boy? Can you write me a song? Cause she know yeah. I'm Nah, I believe it. She would definitely go as a rapper if she ever wanted to try that, but she doing her thing in the R&B lane. She definitely at the top of that yeah, pool. Yeah. Um, I know she she brought you out of something in the water too. Oh, yeah. Like, can you talk a little bit about that experience? I know you spoke on uh, having like a little bit of stage fright early on in your career, yeah. and that venue was a whole lot of people straight on the beach. I went to the first one. Shout out to my boys. Um, it's just a crazy, crazy dope time. So yeah, what was it like performing at something in the water? It was so fun. Omg, I'm thinking about it now. It's just like that shit was so fun, and it was my yeah. first stage. But I can't believe I came this far because I swear. My anxiety real bad, and back then when I used to be finna get on stage, like my process is before I used to get on stage. Well, it's still my process. I like to gather all my thoughts. I don't want to talk. Like people be thinking something wrong with me. I just be sitting there quiet. Like they be like, "You good?" I be like, oh, "I'm good." Don't I be sitting there quiet? Cat? I be. This, I gotta gather myself. Like I be my anxiety bad. But when I used to do it, I used to be finna throw up, or I get right off the stage and throw up. Like getting Say word. all them people. Yeah. Oh, I used to have to wear dark glasses so I can't see nobody and I just perform and do me act like I don't really? like it. I used to be that nervous. 
And I didn't used to talk. Like, I come on stage. I, I just come on. I, they say, you want to come out saying something? Like, saying, hey, what's up, what's up? I used to like, no, just play the song. I'm going to walk in and walk off. I ain't used to be like, all right, thank you. They used to be saying, thank the crowd. Like, talk to them. I used to be like, no. Yeah. Before I'm going to go. I ain't got to. Sheesh. No, that's super raw. I appreciate your perspective on that. Because people don't know. Like, when you're an artist, it's a lot that comes with it. People think it's just as simple as you going out doing your song, they don't know about all those people, eyes on you, yeah. all in your face, yeah. you know, like the emotional, mental level that comes with the elevation. I don't know. I used to be thinking about ops in the crowd, like, because where I'm from, we watching out for all this. So I didn't used to, like, be all the way there anyway. I'm still watching my back, like, you know? Yeah. So it's just my anxiety was bad. But now, it'd be fun. I'd be ready to go out there. I'd be like, I'm just ready to get this shit over. Like, come on, when is it my turn to go out there? Like, yeah. yeah. Working the stage, for okay. sure. Yeah, they say that. Word. Um, I got a few more questions for you. I'm going to let you go ahead and get up out of here. Uh, I got to ask you about Slut Me Out real quick, NLE Chopper. How did you secure that feature? Really, really dope record, by the way. I love that he added yourself, uh, Suki Hana, on it. But yeah, how you secure that? I mean, I guess it makes sense because in the song, he was like 60, 60. And then, but he Man, didn't know. Hey, yeah. But then once everybody started hearing, seeing me go viral and hearing my name and shit, then that's when he like, oh, this was, I guess this this was my thought process. What's I don't up? know what he was doing, but I'm like, maybe he like, oh, okay, it's the girl, her name's Sexy. This perfect for the song. She talking that shit. She the perfect person for the song. That's my thought. Any time anybody send me a song, I'm the part, they feel like I'm the one that they feel like going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? Turn up the yeah, song. Yeah, for sure. I'm with you. Oh, uh, yeah. Fire ass records. Yeah, yeah. Um, couple more questions. Is I know you take pride in being a mother. Um, I know you got a son. I got to ask, what's your favorite part about being a parent? Three, three, three. It's three, three, three right now. Oh, straight up. Yeah. Y'all see that? What time is where you at? Yeah, no, no it is. I ain't keep at the top, though, but yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. You yeah. see? Yeah. But my favorite part about being a mama, I don't know. I love everything about being a mama. Everything. Mm. Everything. All the bad shit that come with it. All the, I don't know. I love being a mama. It's an unexpected yeah. feeling. Yeah, yeah, you can't really describe it or relate to it until you actually have a kid. So I pretty yeah. for sure. Or until you really love somebody, because some people have kids and they be bad to their kids. I be like, how could you not love this little person? Like, how could I don't understand how people do their kids wrong? Because like me, when yeah. I look at my son, like people know I don't play about my son. Rightfully yeah. so. Yeah. Nah, word. Um, what are some things that you're into outside of music? Uh, um, I like doing her. I like stuff about her. I like fashion shit. I like getting money. I love yeah. Straight up. I don't know. I like to have fun. I like to go to the arcade and play games. Go okay. car ride. Oh, she like that. Or go to the studio. I like going to the studio. It's fun. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. I don't know to that studio. When's the next Sexy Rare project coming out? Uh, what can fans expect for the rest of 2023? I'll be dropping shit like... I just dropped Female Gucci, man. Yeah, hard as hell. Yeah, I just dropped that. I be dropping little singles, but I'm probably going to drop a, a mixtape soon. I'm working. Because okay. I, I got all features coming out, too. Wavy, wavy. Anybody oh. you want to talk about now, you want to go ahead and wait till it, till it actually I'm just drop. wait, because you know, motherfuckers be switching up when it's time to drop. So we're going to see oh, who that yeah. We're going <laughs> to see. And then, yeah. Straight up. For sure. Y'all got something to look forward to. Y'all heard it right here. Um, that was all I have for you. Anything else you want to add? Anything you want to say to the people? Uh, uh, thanks, everybody that support me, because I fuck with everybody that fuck with me. Because I know sure. I'm not easy to be fucked with, but when you fuck with me, I fuck with you. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight up. All right, Sexy Ray. I appreciate you for taking the time. Princess, signing out. Yes. Out. Peace. Yo, be easy. You too.